Good evening and welcome to Science Squad. I'm your host Angus Hall and tonight we're going to be discussing the pentadactyl limb, one of the key pieces of evidence for evolution. 385 million years ago, a four-limbed organism known as Eustenopteron was a lobed finned fish. It was still waterbound, however already had bones in its fins that would later become the pentadactyl limb. Once they emerged onto land, they evolved into many species, all with a pentadactyl limb. We now cross to our science expert, Dr. Eva Bloomfield. Thank you, Angus, and welcome to my lab. The pentadactyl limb is a homologous structure found among all tetrapods, which include amphibians, reptiles, birds, and mammals. This five-digit limb, penta meaning five, dactyl meaning fingered, can be observed in a wide variety of organisms. This homology is often cited as evidence for evolution as it shows that all vertebrates descended from a common ancestor known as the stem reptile. In the forelimb, the bones are known as the humerus, radius, ulna, carpals, metacarpals and phalanges. This integral piece of evidence gives us an insight into the path of evolution through the fossil record. Back to you Angus. Wow, thanks Eva. Now we cross to our reporter, Darren Jai Saria, who's going to talk to us about the evolution of the bird. Thanks Angus. The modern day birds we see today, like the Australian kookaburra, evolved from theropod dinosaurs in the late Cretaceous period. As the need for grasping was lost, the fifth and fourth digits disappeared and the wrist bones fused with the first and second digits, allowing the hand to rotate sideways along the forearm, thus enabling flight. Archaeopteryx shows a transition between feathered dinosaurs and modern day birds. It lived 150 million years ago in the late Jurassic period. Its discovery supports Darwin's theories and is a key piece of evidence for the origin of birds and the confirmation of evolution. Amazing, thanks Darren. Now we cross to our reporter by the sea, Emerson Miller, to talk to us about the flipper of the whale. The pentadactyl limb of the southern right whale has adapted from their relatives that roamed the land 37 to 60 million years ago. The flipper is composed of bone between the shoulder and the elbow called the humerus. This bone is connected by two other bones, the ulna and the radius, which are joined to the wrist and therefore the five digits. This is an adaptation which allows whales to steer and maintain their equilibrium when swimming. They also still have remnants of the hind legs of their four-legged ancestors that are present in the lower half of their torso. Back to you in the studio. Mmm, fascinating Emerson. Now we go back to Darren, our reporter in the field, who will be discussing the horse's evolutionary path. Good evening Angus. About 50 million years ago, the first ancestor of modern horses, Eohippus, had three points of contact to the ground to support its weight over the wet, uneven grounds of forests. As the terrain changed, the need for the extra support became redundant. There are still remnants of the two smaller toes with the elongated third digit providing the necessary structure to outrun predators over the flatter terrain. This adaptation allowed modern horses, including the Australian stock horse, to spread out more effectively over the grasslands. Back to you, Angus. Thanks, Darren. Now we go back to Emerson Miller, who will be discussing the physiology of the human pentadactyl limb. Human pentadactyl limb evolved from our ape-like ancestors. Our bipedal or two-legged stance evolved four million years ago and is specialised for propulsion. This means the forelimbs can be used exclusively for grabbing and holding. Adaptations in the pentadactyl limb resulted in an increased range of movement as our human ancestors had a constant need to climb and scale trees. The evolution of the opposable thumb allowed for a firmer grip, enabling humans to manipulate objects with more dexterity than other animals, giving them an advantage in hunting situations. Back to you, Angus. Wonderful. Now we're going to drop back into our resident scientist, Dr. Eva Bloomfield. Welcome back. As we have seen tonight, vertebrates occupy a wide variety of environments and use their limbs for many differing functions. For example, birds, in particular the kookaburra, have incredibly thin and light bones which allow them to fly. In comparison, the southern right whale have strong and thick bones which propel them through the water. Modern horses, such as the Australian stock horse, have an elongated third digit which has essentially made them unidactyl. However, remnants of their ancestors' digits are still present. Finally, humans have evolved to walk on two legs and now possess opposable thumbs, which differ from the flipper of a whale, the hoof of a horse and the wing of a bird. Thanks, Eva. Tonight our reporters have compared the structure of a range of vertebrate forelimbs, highlighting the different functions and evolution of the pentadactyl limb. I'm Angus Hall. Thanks for watching Science Squad. See you next time.